You're listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. Back from the Canada. Uh, <laughs> Back from the Canada. The Canada, yes. Articulation. <laughs> <laughs> Someone noticed that uh, that's how long I've been like, living in hotels, is where I said, uh, yeah, and then I went to, uh, went to the Schlotzky's for lunch, and I think it was Raider, he goes... You realize you say the Schlotskys now like it's like a friendly neighbor. <laughs> Stop by the house. Duh, yeah. Schlotsky. Stop mm-hmm. by the Schlotskys. Uh, yeah, it was a fucking blast. Canada was great. I I actually made it a, a like a mental thing where I go try to have fun, which is weird when you have to like say that and focus on mm-hmm. really try to have fun. And we like we did some things. Not a lot of things. Good enough. Yeah. We stayed in a lot of airport hotels, so we we walked around a lot of airports. Went to a lot of airport lounges. That was something. I mean, there's it's six of one, half dozen of the other. Do you go on the road and spend less time in airports, but then spend more time driving? Especially Canada, where it's hours it's between so cities. <clears throat> yeah. Or do you hang out at the airport? <laughs> well, they're, 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 I mean, I love airport hotels. They're just way more expensive. Yeah. In some some of the markets. But, and they're uh, usually f- uh, further away than from everything. It's usually at the outskirts, especially yeah. in Canada. It's at the outskirts of the of the town. So. But uh, yeah, we say like, fucking like, Vancouver. We just we get to the gig. I, I think six hours early. Yeah. Because uh, there were sushi next to it. <laughs> and uh, that was, that, that killed like 25 minutes. And then uh, we just started walking. We walked like four miles. We walked like two and a half Commercial hours. Avenue. Yeah. Until it ran out and then walked back and hit a bunch of vintage shops. And... Did you get anything? Did you find anything at the vintage? No, there's a lot of places where we found shit that, like there was one place that was a a bar restaurant that was going out of business where if I was driving, we would have filled the car up with some shit. Well, it was interesting because I was like, so, you know, what's, what business? You know, because you couldn't really tell because there's like personal things too, like yeah. jeans, <laughs> you know. Like, yeah. Do you have yeah. lost and found with jeans at a restaurant? <laughs> so I, I go, what is it? Well, you know, a little of this. And it was like the tail end of his thing. He had a restaurant there, hence all the cool shit that we would have taken for the, the fun house. And they were just, he was, I'm out of, I'm done. I'm, He's I'm done doing this. Everything. So, <laughs> so he basically had his old restaurant where you could see where all the, where the c- cooking line was. All that stuff's gone. All oh, the stainless wow. steel, that was the first to go. So then he just put like personal items too. And I go, what's next? He goes, vacation. So oh, he's wow. just fucking He's done. Yeah. Done. Yeah. But I mean, there was, I mean, we could have. There was one antique shop. The with the globes? Shop, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, the you globes. You found and, globes finally and you didn't yeah. bring them home. Well, you were fine. On what? I know, I know, I know. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the cool globes. Okay. But like a really cool stand up ashtray, but they want like $700 for. I don't know about the ashtray, yeah. but. There's a few things. Like, you want seven hundred dollars? It looked or? like you could like set a scene on Mad Men with the stuff oh, in the back man. there, with oh, the yeah. the funky oranges and brown like vases uh, uh, and I stuff like, like that. that. It was, yeah, it was stuff. really cool. I like it. But I mean, priced way out, and you know, whatever. He's not going out of business. I have to be some fucking vintage places that we don't know about in Tucson. Because, I mean, has to be Tucson, Tucson Thrift, uh, every time we've gone in there since after pandemic, they just have fucking dick. Their, their stores are spent. And the only other one is uh, how sweet it was, which is tiny. Yeah. Uh, but there's no, like, vintage furniture place. I, I mean, there, there might be. I don't know that I've ever really looked it up. You might have to change. What, are you in the market for vintage furniture? What's well, it's, it's the only place I could actually room, buy it. Oh, I mean, man. remember in Cleveland? We went to that place. Oh, yeah. They had that fucking couch, and I was I, I was uh, joking on Twitter, but kind of trolling for anyone who drive that fucking couch <laughs> out here. Like all the great places we find, Tucson and Phoenix would be the only well, place we could. Buy Sweet them. Lorraine's, we just yeah. hit up that place. Yeah. I should probably bleep that so no one goes there. <laughs> Take that <laughs> couch. Those guys God have a, a gold mine. That place yeah. is great. Yeah. 
But I, the thing is with that with the the theater show, what we were there six hours early, because no one was answering the phone or the text messages. The, the, the business for me, people? going like, "Hey, I want to advance the show. Find you know the details. You got our writer. Yeah. What time can we get there? When's the sound going to be there? Yeah, no one. I, I don't know if you remember Simon King. He's a comic friend of ours in Vancouver, and we were going to podcast during the day if we could get into the venue. But you had nothing. Uh, no, it was turns out yeah. it was a fucking. It, it's a movie theater during the day. They're open so for business at one thirty. I saw that the, uh, the box office <laughs> opened, so I'm like, Doug, fuck it, let's just go, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll figure something out because the box office will be open, and we can talk our way in if no one's there, right? Okay, so you so, did. Yeah, Simon, I apologize about that lack of a podcast. I, I, we could have tried to do it in the green room, but that was a fucking hallway. There was nothing there. And for so there was, and there was a... Bollywood fucking features blasting over it anyway, so audio would have been fucked. Anyway, good How deal. did you finally get in touch with them? By going down there? We went there, and uh, the guy that was running the front door was like, oh, yeah, you guys can go in. We're open, though. And we could walk through there. And they're like, it's like... I'd say two thirds full. Really? Of uh, wow. I don't know about the balcony, but yeah. of people watching a Bollywood movie. That's uh, that's kind of Indian. hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> I would have sat down and watched the movie. <laughs> I would have. This thing turned off. Oh, so sorry. We'll just go. Am off. I talking too loud? No, no. Yeah, you okay. talked too loud. You broke the microphone. <laughs> I'll just put this in. Go ahead. Keep going. Wrong hole. <laughs> so we had time to kill. Okay. So what did you do then? You didn't podcast. No, we just walked. I okay. To the point where my fucking. Hips refused. I did hear that. You did call me about that at yeah. one point. Uh, yeah. That, well, fortunately, we were leaving the next day, so I was uh, pickled and hammered on the plane. So you? I didn't feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> he was a pistol coming home. <laughs> oh, yeah? Do I oh, my God. You don't remember? Do tell. No. We, okay, <laughs> so we get, we get on the plane... In, where were we? Seattle. Yeah, we came from Vancouver. Uh, would you go through customs? Okay, let's there? just start. Yeah. Let's start from the beginning. He gets a <laughs> fucking flight for 6 a.m., which is basically a commuter flight for us because we're just going south. Mm. So it's Seattle. like... it's like Yeah, just, no. So, but going from Vancouver to Seattle to Tucson is like going from Seattle to Tucson, really. So he's got us a fucking flight at 6 a.m., which means we got to get up at 4 a.m. to get to, to, to walk to walk over there. Okay. And, but it's not like a we're not going across three time zones to get home. We're basically just taking a, a two and a half hour, three hour flight, right? So we got to get there early, and then he's got his sneaky bottles in the uh, oh, I know in the thing I know. <laughs> and then by the time we get to Seattle. He's being a little difficult. He's saying things loud, <laughs> saying things like for, My that he Dutch knows Stanford. other people are going to hear. <laughs> and the, the, what, the, on the Vancouver plane? No. When we got in Seattle. Oh. Well, in Seattle. So when we got there, basically, we were just going from one lounge to another. Okay. And the, the first one was, was easy. And that's where I, I want to say that we did leave unnecessarily early. There's probably about seven more flights that day that would have taken us okay. to Tucson. We didn't have to get up at 4 a.m. Okay. It was the uh, one that we could use that buddy pass with. Yes. <laughs> so we did, yeah, we, we saved the buddy the pass. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't do that for any other reason than you can never use those fucking companions. That That is true. It's the, like saving his plastic Ziploc bag. He's saving a buck. Yeah. Buddy pass, come on. Yeah, well, the, the buddy passes are hard to use. They even tell you, it's like, yeah, no one ever really gets to use these. It's like they're pointless. Mm -hmm. So, but they're they're so so very good. Then, uh, then that makes sense. Why would you? Yeah, <laughs> I just joined uh, two. I have I got oh, on Reddit. Oh. Like now, now that I get time off coming up, I, I got on. Uh, there's a Facebook group for just Delta flyers. <laughs> Sky <laughs> life, Sky Mile life, or Sky Club life. I don't know. And then one for Reddit, and so I think these are people that are fanatical like I am mm -hmm. about Delta specifically. I think I could trade some of my vintage Delta gear. For some, uh, for you some, want a Delta Barbie you know, doll? Some, like, right. how do I, Delta Barbie doll. For something wilder well, no, than for, that. Like, how do you use these fucking companions yeah. certificates and global, you know, uh, whatever 
Because Delta can't well, tell you. Upgrade. They can't seem to tell you. No, if you just try. I, that's all I know how to do is call Delta and go, hey, I'm trying to use this. Will it work on this flight? And that one guy said, you know what? I'm just going to sit here and just randomly pick flights until your shift is up. He goes, I, I, I'm only required to check three flights. <laughs> oh, wow. Boy, wow. the new normal. <laughs> yeah, this is, the thing is, there's websites that tell you a lot of stuff. Like, you know, obviously, uh, the, the points guy is the biggest one. Mm-hmm. And then there's, a, I want to say, Rene Fabergé. That's Brendan Walsh's character. <laughs> but his name is Rene, I forget. Uh, but they, 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 they're so knowledgeable that they're using all this nomenclature where... You have no fucking idea. You're, you're on the two Reddit. sentences. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, if it's a J fair and you're, uh, you're flying on an upmarket downdraft, or like, <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> You've met your so, match, so baby. So hopefully, people <laughs> that speak the language can. Uh, you know, I, I want to, yeah, integrate myself. They have a huge thing now, and it pisses me off <laughs> with fucking, you know, my. Uh, 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 the airport pub crawls. Hashtag airport pub crawl. Yeah, I've been okay. doing those I, the, at least since 2014. I found tweets with that hashtag I put out. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm on one of these groups and they're talking about Sky Mile, uh, 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 Sky Club pub crawl. In Atlanta, there's like, uh, I think nine Pumps. Sky Clubs. Sky clubs in Atlanta. Yeah, because yeah, there's a couple of terminals have. Two Wait, ju- each. just Delta? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because there's you know A, B, C, D, E, and T terminals. Yeah. And a lot of those have. Well, we were somewhere where I think it was Atlanta when we were yeah because we were flying out to uh, Montreal, and mm-hmm. there were we hit three, in the course of uh, catching our flight, we hit one because you had to use the pisser. Then we hit another one because it was towards our gate, and then we hit another one because the other one was was busier, and we thought there'd be better food at another one. Right. So they they've got these little like pockets where they're going. We could shoehorn one in there and take off the pressure to the oh, big another one. one. <laughs> yeah, 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 so they're definitely doing that. So yeah, now that's a big thing. I'm like, God, yeah, that's kind of my thing, but not not in COVID uh, made that. Uh, well, this obviously is not a sanctioned Delta thing, because like, the, the thing is you. They have rules. Uh, you have to have one drink in every Sky Club. Oh. So nine nine drinks and they, uh, the people are doing it. Well, I got you know, three hours. Well, on they my get way. on a plane, nine drinks, that's yeah. more than you. Yeah. 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 That, that, that'd be tough. But there's also, I got to think today, they're selling, they were selling uh, uh, luggage tags with the Delta logo. Uh, that's that's not Del- it. This is Delta the new Pump one. Delta Crawl says. Yeah, right. uh, but this is the new one. Without uh, the they were logo. selling them with Delta's logo and shit. Oh, yeah. Um, like then, it's yeah. an official thing. Yeah. Using the same font as the Million Miler. You know. That didn't fly. Uh, yeah, they get a cease and desist. Yeah. Uh, so you can even buy the tag that has the cease and desist on it. <laughs> yeah. But this one is just a U.S. Airport Sky Pub Crawl. And it's nice got, Delta on the back. all the Delta. Like, if you try to hit all those oh, cities nice. in a year. Uh, <laughs> shut up, Wig. You can throw them up here. I don't care. Yeah. So, hey. what happened was after Seattle. Okay, so I have two drinks uh, at the uh, Sky Lounge at the, the Plaza Premium. They don't have a Delta <laughs> no. at that terminal in Vancouver. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't serve booze till 9 a.m. So, when I got there at 5 a.m., I had to rely on my own stores. In your, a, your sleeve. <laughs> yeah, I had a couple of drinks, and then we get on the plane, and uh, Chaley uh, orders for me. Lay down. <laughs> okay, see, I've got equipment here, and his, yeah. his butthole is right on the speaker. That's the microphone. <laughs> yeah. On oh, the mic, chill out. <laughs> so, uh, and then I, uh, Chaley's good about ordering me a drink that he's not going to drink, so I had a double on the uh, flight, the 20-minute fucking flight from Vancouver to Seattle. Oh, okay. And, and then, then we what? hit the Sky Club. There's a really nice Sky Club that we were at when we went up to see her mother. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's so the, the A-gate two one. Two-story That is yeah. really yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. And uh, got that fucking front table with those beautiful red oh, chairs. Oh, yes. Yes. That's and, incredible. Uh, then, what happened? What happened? Then we get on. Okay, come on, Shaylee. Okay, Spill first it. off. <laughs> 
it, we were both a little miffed because we gave ourselves enough time to get to what we thought was our gate, which would be like reasonable. Mm. Turns out it's the last gate on the A concourse, which so is further than either of us okay. realized how far it was down. So it was it was fucked up. And then we ended up having to wait like twenty minutes. So He's doing that thing where he's making comments about people that he's oh, standing know. right next to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, so, yeah. It makes you and I very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know those comments. So he's doing that, and, and they're big guys. They're not, they're not like... <laughs> and you're the muscle. Yeah. I know how that oh, feels. I'm so good at knowing when people well, aren't listening. Well, I am right. fucking <laughs> just throw really loud curveballs all the time. It's a skill. Yeah. <laughs> And then we get Wait, on. Hang on. Who are the guys? Tell me the story. The guy, uh, the guy with the uh, the bald guy looked like uh, he looked like uh, the teacher in uh, Back to the Future. Hey, McFly, the bald guy. I don't know yeah, he was. He had uh, headphones on, and you were saying Wait, things. Is this in the Sky Club? Or no, this plane? was waiting to get on our plane. He first and he plane. was first class too. He ended up sitting. He had the really cool looking shoes. I thought. I, I didn't think the they were that. Plane. Second plane. Second plane. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you were no. drunk during the second yeah. flight, not the first flight. So you. So anyway, so he's making comments. So I'm okay. like, oh fuck, here we go. And then we get on the and we get on the plane, and he he's he's kind of wavering. He gets a drink, mm-hmm. right? And he's kind of wavering, and he's sitting. He's sitting. The, and he's he's holding. Oh a drink no! Like this. Has the plane taken like off? That. No. Oh no! And he's fast asleep. <laughs> like with his mask on and the the drink is like <laughs> sideways like that yes right? so i i go to do this like to slowly do that he's like, hey hey oh but hey. then he thinks you're taking his drink and <laughs> he go he wakes up and he goes are we in tucson <laughs> and i go we, we not even close we haven't left and i go how good do you think delta ice is <laughs> You're, you still have full ice in <laughs> your drink. That's brilliant, Shaley. So then he goes to sleep again. He goes back to sleep, uh-huh. and then, um, and then, sh- and then, s- at some point, we were on our ascent, and I look at him. He wakes up, and he starts fucking. He's like, I gotta have you. <laughs> yeah, such a good idea. <laughs> I, oh, Jesus, there we go. Perfect. Uh, he wakes up. And he starts to dial his oh, phone. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's that, that was right in my face. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought you were just... No. no. When Shay said, oh, my God. God. I, that was I think, I, think I scared <laughs> Wait, but you have to go back to where you were. That's stung. Uh, he, <laughs> but where were you at? Because... He, uh, <laughs> we were, we were, we were uh, climbing to our cruising altitude of about 27,000 feet. Okay. And he pulls out his phone... And starts calling you. In fact, it said... Oh, that was right, it that said, lady, yes. It's well, the flight attendant who noticed uh. that you were making a phone call. <laughs> and she bent down and goes, hey, hey uh, you can't make a phone call right. when we're flying. And he's like, it's I'm not. Audible. This is audible. audible and book. it clearly says bingo. And it's starting it to <laughs> one, two, three, four. It's, yeah, not, it's yeah. just not connecting. Yeah. And then he quickly is like trying to make it... <laughs> not it's obvious something that like he's searching up Audible. Which... Charlotte's Web. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, so he brings up Audible and he's like, yeah, I'm just trying to... She was like, oh, okay. I don't think she bought it. No. But it, clearly he wasn't calling anymore. And then he gets mad at me <laughs> for like, calling him out. It's like, no, yeah. that that is not... That's not part of the code. Right. If you're if you're doing something you should not be doing, right. I'm not gonna fucking you're not gonna... back you up. Right. <laughs> Especially when she's you know, she's a real nice. I don't nice know how lady. I was able to figure I've never been able to figure out how to get like Audible. online <laughs> or anything on fucking flights and I don't know how I was possibly calling someone successfully. I do remember that. It was it said bingo and it had the thing in the middle where you pushed the to gone. hang up. That's so weird. was it Maybe it was WhatsApp, but I still don't. I don't oh, know you might have. Online. Well, it didn't go through. I never got. Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, but wow. <laughs> Maybe it was just going to be a fucking dead line, but it still looked yeah, like it, I was calling. You were definitely calling someone, so <laughs> she, she, she figured it out. And then there was just the constant, you know, making comments. Yeah. While waking up and then doing something weird. Mm. I do so. remember. Uh, mm. We had 
Some kind of meat and a Swiss cheese sandwich. It's a croissant, a ham and cheese croissant. Yeah. Yep. Was it good? He doesn't. Know. I don't know. Yeah, I just I I, <laughs> I didn't want to eat it. I don't know. I might have still been high from the night before. I think you were. You were. He was in a good mood. That was the thing. He's ha- he, was he was happy. High. He was happy, but it wasn't like angry. angry I, yeah. Doug in the no, morning. I knew. Okay. 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 So. okay. <laughs> yeah. I got. Yeah. I get back to the hotel and uh, where you're they're living. Yeah. yeah. And I uh, got in the pool for the first time. I think I spent maybe I tried to I tried to I wanted to be out there for an hour to get some sun, but yeah. by the look of me, I didn't I didn't. Uh, so, yeah, I, I must have knocked out fairly early. I walked over to Denny's. And I was in, still in high spirits, seeing all my uh, my Denny's crew over yeah. there. And uh, next thing I know, fucking getting sales calls at fucking eight thirty in the morning. Spam risk. I figured you just went right to sleep. I didn't think you stayed up when you got back to the hotel. Uh, I did. I napped, woke up, then uh, I was just on the internet doing nothing. But it's seemingly for hours. But I think the last time I talked to you was eight o'clock at night. So I it wasn't. I think that's about right. In the eight o'clock hour. So. Uh, you know we need to take a break because uh, it's looking like I got to change a battery. Okay. And maybe Meatwig would want yeah, to mic up sh- Meatwig. Meatwig. <laughs> right on my ad copy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fart it right in your face. I think, I think that was you pretty bad. In, in, when you edit this, you should put in um, a sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> or, just, yeah, or just replay it now in slow motion or at the end. Which is slow motion and mm. then maybe you could put in a green fog. <laughs> That's a lot of work for uh, sound. If this is going out tomorrow. I gotta have you... Yeah, such a good idea. <laughs> I, oh, Jesus, there we go. Perfect. Wait, you fucking figured out how to do Snapchat? Oh my I god! I just fucking got my uh, uh, hot dog nose catching rings on his Snapchat. Yet it takes him fucking three days to. They do all that. I don't do anything. I just uh, push so a why button. Why don't we just do our podcast on Snapchat? That's a pretty good hot idea. Dog <laughs> yeah, hot dog on <laughs> Snapchat. Yeah. yeah, I don't see why everything has to be a fucking. A lot of work. <laughs> that that is true. You definitely don't understand. That yeah. would be yeah. a fact. <laughs> All right. Please hold. You are listening to the Doug Stanhope podcast. Hey, it's uh, 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 Lucy. Get your nicotine fix without having to step away from the party with Lucy. Lucy has the best nicotine products in the game. Whether you're a gunman or you enjoy a badass nicotine pouch, you get a pouch in. Mm-hmm. You get a pouch in right now. Mm-hmm. Lucy's got you covered. Uh, there's no one way to get your fix. That's why Lucy lets you choose your strength and flavor. Uh, what, uh, what 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 flavor do you like? Mint. Mint. On the aeroplanes. On the aeroplanes. You don't mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, no that's good. That's, uh, that's why I like them. Yeah. Yep, so you're even keeled and you don't make fun of bald men. Want to shake up your nicotine routine to Lucy <laughs> Pouches? What? She didn't know that was a callback to what we were just talking about. I was, was like, yeah, I make fun of bald men. I mean, what, what, who do you think I am? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Lucy Pouches come in apple ice, mango, or even espresso. Love pouches but want your kick faster? Give Lucy Breaker Pouches a try. They contain a liquid capsule to moisten the pouch and get your nicotine fixed faster. Visit Lucy, L-U-C-Y dot C-O, and use promo code Stanhope to get 20% off your first order. Shipping's always free. Here's the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age. Every order is age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine, nicotine is an addictive chemical. Doesn't say anywhere in the packaging you can't put them in your butt. Nope. Looked it up and down, but do for your rectal own research. use only. That's what I say. Do your own <laughs> research. <laughs> That's with most products, by the way. <laughs> if it's not printed, it's not a rule. If it's not posted. Before we go back, um, right now we've got the This Is Not Fame signed edition uh, available at DougStanhope.com store. All right, and uh, 
Brian is fastidiously working. He needs to work with Chaley on this, he says, uh, to get a proper hardcover or a uh, physical copy of uh, No Encore for the Donkey. Because mm. that fucking thing that we suspended, I, I wish his fucking copy was never sold. We, you don't want uh, to do buybacks? I don't know if we <laughs> went to fucking Bangkok to fucking get those, but they, they're cheap. Like, the paper itself is so fucking cheap. Like, you could probably you could probably read it. It was probably safe to read if you were doing one page at a time because you could see the road through the paper, I bet. <laughs> it's fucking thinner than rolling paper. It's just so cheap. And tiny print on top of all that. It's, it's, a, it's uh, so... We're, we're remedying that. King of Thailand, I got a, a, a trailer for to look at. Oh, fuck, we got to pull that trailer from the movie. For, yeah. Uh, yeah, for that You can do that thing. tomorrow. I got, right. I, I got so much done today with uh, the contractors that... Uh, I brought Bingo through. We got local contractors. We fi- fired those douche hounds, fucking shyster fucking people in uh, Tucson... And uh, get someone local, and progress is being made on the house. So I brought the uh, bingo hole. It was through amazing. It. So that's I the could first not time believe she's been in. Uh, things are happening. Where I showed her all the things that you told me. Yeah. So it's probably like yeah. Chinese telephone where yeah, she thinks, yeah. oh, wait, so this is where the bus station's going to be? A whole wall of toasters? <laughs> the swimming pool with the slide? <laughs> yeah. I love yeah, that. and then. Um, <laughs> This, it's actually way early, but there's actually a, 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 one of those long forecasts for this weekend of rain. So that's why they're like, hey, um, we got to get those solar panels off, man, because we got to do this because it could, it could just happen. So it might not rain this Saturday, but it's, it, the roof will be done by Saturday. Oh, well, sure. The, the out, exterior. Yeah. So it yeah. could rain and that'd be fine. All right. So that's great. Yeah, I was getting ahead of myself at some point because I don't know exactly. I go, okay, but if we leave that open, what used to be a bedroom, hey, maybe we can set up a podcasting situation like a set because I've been thinking of some design issues or shit that I I go, I love this stuff, but I don't have any, the old TVs. I go, oh, if I I start with the old vintage portable television sets and work backwards, I can create a cool ass set. But I don't know what the It's like building is. a house around the color of a switch plate on the wall. <laughs> Which is kind that's, of what we did. That's, yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, think, I think once that wall is removed and uh, you're able to like, have a better idea of the space, you know, and fix all that other stuff. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. But you'll be out at that hotel until July, it looks like. <laughs> but, I mean, you're there anyway. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's good. I, I got... I got pool floats, I got skivvies, bathing trunks, free laundry. You had a problem before with a lot of kids hanging out at the pool who weren't staying oh, there. Uh, that was yeah, that one day. I guess they... they it was like, caddy day at a Bushwood? <laughs> well, that was one, <laughs> that was the double was one of the hotels no. oh. we were at. It was a great hotel, too, except in the lobby... I went down to, like, this is a perfect, gorgeous lobby to work. You know, as soon as breakfast, oh, free yeah. breakfast. And yeah. I, there's Ca- tables uh, everywhere. Calgary. Yeah, these, but someone. Oh, on the road. Okay. And, you know, you couldn't complain because, you know, some fucking single parent had their fucking kids there. Just two kids the entire day. Just sitting there with their earphones and their gamer phones. And their fucking homework, and they're just sitting in the <laughs> lobby, like right where I wanted to post up. Like, okay, if I go back there, which mm-hmm. if they were somewhere else, we wouldn't have this discussion right, right now. <laughs> they were where he wanted to be, right. so that that makes it fucking egregious. <laughs> There's no way this should be happening. <laughs> but I mean, there probably someone who works there, yeah, had their kids there so they could do a shift yeah. or pull a double or right. whatever. Yeah, so. yeah no, obviously it's someone who worked there. Because the kids were there for fucking solid six hours that I was back and forth going, those kids have to be gone by now. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's because uh, this is like all these highway workers, these lo- uh, long-time construction people stay there. So it's not like the fucking Doubletree 
where it's, you know, kids are, uh, you can count on kids there. This, if it's, you know, if it's kids, it's that same situation where fucking <laughs> some fucking Esmeralda brought her fucking whole family down. And that's what it was like. I got, like there's, I, I called the front desk. I go, what's going on with the pool? There were literally like 60 fucking the people, all, you know, one family of fucking mostly kids, cannonballs, wearing their fucking laundry, you know, just so they can, <laughs> yeah. And that's I a good idea. Desk. That's that's smart. We, we almost we've did talked that about in, doing uh, that all our lives together. But in the UK, yeah. we were on that seven week tour and laundry over there, like you, no one can figure out or uh, how, how to do it. <laughs> washers, you can't figure out the buttons. Dryers never work, yeah. so we were gonna just put all of our clothes on when there was an indoor pool in one mm-hmm. of the hotels and just jump in the pool and then sit in the sauna for <laughs> for two hours till they dried. Yeah. Steam them. <laughs> uh, so so I call the front desk. I go, listen, I've been here for like five weeks. I've not seen one single child in this hotel ever. And you're telling me that 60 of them just showed up and they're all taking <laughs> over the pool? Stop it. And she, so then she called me back an hour later. She goes, yeah, evidently they, they, did, they do have rooms. They did check in. They probably have two rooms. Yeah. <laughs> they checked in somewhere late, late at night, but I told them they'd have to wrap it up so other people can use the pool. Because it's literally not a fucking open seat. Yeah. So I haven't, I haven't seen that problem, but we've been on the road. I'll start. Uh, I, I mean, I got a. I did a. I got an Andy Andrus uh, orange reflective. Did you get it? Vest. Saw that. Yeah, yeah. yeah saw. Uh, And now maybe I should get like. Uh, maybe I should get the brand name like a, a of this hotel uniform shirt or a security shirt, just so I can start policing if there's issues like this. Oh, like it, like so I don't have to trouble the, the front perimeter, desk. You know, yeah. like where, where there's the, the outside of the parking and the, hey, 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 there's a. Cigarette butts in the can over there. Oh yeah, I was gonna get. Um, this is a this spot reserved for uh, IHG uh, titanium members, or oh, just wow. get a, a level that they don't really have. Yeah, yeah. So everyone goes, I don't have that <laughs> pudding level. Yeah, <laughs> actually, the people that make those bag tags, you have a choice. But uh, well, yeah, they had all the. Uh, they have a uh, unobtainium. Oh yeah, <laughs> unobtainium from, uh, level. Yeah, I think that's from Marvel Comics or. No, I, I, I think know. that's uh, yeah, it's one of the comic book guys. Well, it's it's funny for you know a, a medallion level and Delta yeah. unobtainium, <laughs> but yeah, just get that uh, parking sign so I, my spot's always open. I don't think anyone that works there, which I think there's only three. <laughs> there this doesn't seem to be a big. Their staff. entire staff is three people. <laughs> there is a pile of. I don't know what it is. I haven't inspected it, but I, it's been there since I checked it because I've been. I take the stairs. I'm on the third floor, so I take the stairs every time. I, you know, you got me on the road too. Okay, we're taking the stairs. If it's just a short amount, just stop the elevator. Take the stairs. I don't force him. Just so I know, you know, but I do. My it. mom I does just, the same thing. Yeah. I mean, you know that. I don't know what stories he's telling you. <laughs> so I just want you to know. I don't you go, hey, force him. Okay. That, dude, pretend that escalator doesn't exist. You're using the stairs, mister. This pile looks like... We'll talk um, later. <laughs> the, like the bottom of a cigarette pack that has all the loose tobacco. I don't know what it is. It's beige and it looks like crumbs. It could be breadcrumbs. I don't know. And it's been there since I fucking checked in. Where, where is it? On the back stairwell. Oh, yeah. Oh. Fifth stair down. <laughs> from the third uh, floor. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, every day I look at it, and it's a, it gets a little bit uh, more sparse. I guess probably gets ground in a little yeah, bit yeah. more. The fa- fact that in a, a month and a half, no one's vacuumed that fucking back stairwell. The back stairwell. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it, it, they're under some renovation. Oh, But it's comforting to know that it's there every time I go by. There's crates of building materials like taking up parking spots. Oh, oh, that's, fuck yeah. Safeway! Yeah. Safeway, they tore out all the fucking tiles. The tiles yeah. are getting done, and they're painting the uh, exterior. Yeah, this be growing up, man. It was dead empty, and like, there's a lady started talking to me, like very oh. close talking, and she goes, "Doug, how have you been?" I mean, like, how are you doing? And I thought maybe, oh, like, uh, because of the fire, they... Yeah, yeah. 
And but I think it was Floyd's ex-wife, who never liked oh, me anyway. No. Why would she talk to you? I know. And to, like, be careful. Like, is there fucking rumors around it? Maybe that doctor's been saying, hey, uh... <laughs> He posted your results on Yeah, but listen, you know stand up. I'm supposed to tell him his results on his podcast. He never left me alone. Yeah. I'm not good with bad news. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, have you heard from that guy? No, I haven't, but I, 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 I told him I'd talk to him after Austin. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, but it's, uh, and I, 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 like, I think it's Floyd's wife, but I'm not sure. Ex-wife. And... Uh, I said, hey, you know, they're just uh, waiting. The construction's getting going. Oh, what happened? Oh, so it wasn't. Oh, fuck. I thought it was, yeah. He took a shot. Yeah. (laughs) I assumed you were, like, being comforting because I I think I had a... No. And it was just a very halting, like, I'm trying to come up with something to say. Yeah. Because she had a look of, you have no idea who I am, so I'm going to torture you. Uh, (laughs) I think I do know who you are. But it's good to see you. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> That's why. Do you uh, want another drink? No, I'm good. I was going to take a fucking edible. That was fun. They have uh, edibles are legal up there. A cr- oh. Like like you can go from the East Coast to the West Coast. You can go on the plane. You With don't anything. have to worry about, are we going to touch down in Oklahoma? Because if there's a problem, I have weed on me. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's none of that. Federal. Yeah. And half the dispensaries I found out, or half the pe- half the supply, is from illegal dispensaries oh, that wow. they really don't enforce. Right. So that so you have two different ways where you can get. Well, I didn't know that, but I can always tell when he's high because when he's high, high and drunk, he calls. Well, he calls me all the time. I love that, but when he has a lisp, a very strong lisp. It's high and drunk. Oh. And I knew he had access to them both. But he's got a strong lisp. And I'm like, honey. Have you noticed that? Yes, he I does. that's all in her head. No, you have no, a lisp. Um, I'll, it's I'll a pay lisp. more attention. I'm usually annoyed at that point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to do numbers or figure something out. No, pay attention. He gets a lisp. Yeah. And it's Fucking hilarious. Everyone gets some kind of a, like, a oh, lazy very mouth strong. kind no, of it's, situation. Yeah. Like this learning. He's uh, real uh, And you got to make sure that's on my laptop before you leave. The day drinking show. Oh. I, I, All right. Well, okay. You started doing edibles on stage in the UK. Yeah. How was the day drinking show different than what you, the, the bad experience, well... Your, I don't really your yeah. experience in the UK of doing edibles and not giving a shit. Uh, be, uh, the amount of drinking. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. I, like, I, I don't know how it ended. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I was in the moment, that day drinking show in Vancouver, like, I think this bit I have, has not worked as many ways as I've tried it. And now this bit has just become, I don't know if it's, it's that good. good. Really? Yeah. But Which one was it? A lot of them. Like, uh, the music. No, no, he had so many tags that like, or, or different like actual parts that he added while high during that. Oh, that's half, so cool. I would like to hear The that. day drinking show that I'm like, you need to listen to this just because. That is cool. Oh, I, so I, yeah, I knew in the moment I have to What about to Suicide Bit? Is that, did it, anything happen with that one? Suicide Bit. Oh, that's the one she's in. Oh, well, that's the that. only one I care about. Yeah, no, I, no, but I did come up with a, a couple more beats where that needed to be ironed out. I woke up this morning. I woke up from fucking uh, spam risk two in a row, where I was in a very lucid dream, where I was on stage, and I was talking about suicide, uh, and knowing that a guy in the audience had either tried to kill himself... Oh, yeah, you were telling me about that. And I was about to say to him, hey... Sorry, I keep talking about suicide, but it's going to come up several more times. Yeah. And my phone rang. I'm like, fuck, it's not. It's spam risk. Turn it off. I'm going to try to get back to this mm. dream right where it was because I was about to tell a guy I know what table he's at. And I fucking lay down, close my eyes, and eye mask. Phone rings again. I'm like, oh, fuck. Man. I was like, guys, oh, I thought no. maybe I could get right back into that dream. <laughs> you could turn the phone off. I had to one night because it kept going. Oh, it was that Michael Bean night what? when he blew up your phone. 
And it, Michael Bean's uh, ring on Doug Singh is a door knock. Well, oh. not all of them are. Okay, well, oh, okay. this thing. Well, he he it said, was hey, I'm at 530 in the morning, 515. Hey, I'm trying to wake you up. And then, the, then A, 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 A. So every time oh, he texted no. him, it What was it about? He woke me up. Yeah, I know. He wakes up at that hour and he wants to talk to someone. He's like he's like an old man at tell a tell at two in the morning because he's just getting home from the bars. Yeah, Michael Bean calls at five four thirty five in the morning. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Austin, do we have announcements? It feels like we should be telling people shit. Austin sold out. Yeah. Oh, you've got you'll be on uh, Kill Tony on uh, Monday. We should uh, say we'll be at Freedom Fest. Google it. It's in July. I, think, I don't know the dates, but it's in Memphis. And we're putting the band back together, yeah. man. Chaley and Tracy and Bingo and Stanhope and uh, Chad and Jenny. And we're all flying out for three days. We're going to do... There's a comedy show at Freedom Fest. So I'm doing uh, one night there. A night... We'll, like a regular nighttime gig. Yeah, they're, yeah. it's part of their thing. Yeah. Uh, I'll do the late show uh, where you can say anything you want. Like a Freedom Fest. You think... You can't... Yeah. You censor the first one? Not so Freedom Fest? I don't know. But anyway, so, yeah, mm-hmm. I headlined the uh, Late Show Friday, and other than that, we're fucking off. <laughs> Chad said he's, like, focusing on being in a fun fun mood. Because, they're like, it's obviously a libertarian bent mm-hmm. to it, but, yeah, some, some, some of the folks, when we went to that libertarian, uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the like a, convention, the national, yeah, yeah. yeah the, like, oh, man, some people are fucking way too serious. About <laughs> <laughs> it's like, though, we went to that atheist thing with the yes. amazing Randy here. And that was, a, that was a, a, a fun time. It was a great comedy show. and uh, But it, <laughs> you don't want to sit around and talk about fucking atheism. <laughs> it's, uh, and some people do. Some yeah. people... You know, that's their whole identity. Yeah. So that's all they talk about. Right. But I mean, the Freedom Fest thing was a lark that ended up turning into a gig. It, it's, I got the Reason Magazine sent an email out. That, that, Ooh, look at this guy, Reason Magazine. <laughs> Smart fuck <laughs> magazine. Yeah, that's the only fucking news source that I can tolerate is Reason <laughs> They have, you know, Biden's full of shit right next to a Trump is full of shit. Mm. Next to this is bullshit. It's, uh, but I get the thing, and then I go, I'm not going to fucking. I've never, I've never gone to one other than that when I was running. Yeah, I had been running for president that year. That's the only reason I showed up in Denver. Yep, probably, probably is the only reason we booked that gig at that time was yeah. to do that, assuming we'd be there. Like route it because yeah. it was there. Yeah. Uh, Freedom Fest. Yeah, no, I'm trying, I'm trying to think if I... Well, we did something in Manchester, but I think it was just some dude's podcast yes. that was libertarian. So I've, I've always... But I looked up, just for fun, because I got the email in the morning when I like to do my morning travels, my fantasy travel. I'm like, what is in Memphis? Let's mm. I'll find the closest hotel to That's how the it, place. <laughs> I'm sure I've already told this story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we're... Uh, Staying in a giant pyramid, mm-hmm. fucking Bass Pro Shop themed, fucking just mm-hmm. atrocity of garish, vulgar. Yeah. You can shoot guns. And I do I don't arrow. know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know that you can shoot guns. I think oh. there is an archery range. There's, a, There's an underwater. It's under. It's underwater theme. Welding. Um, no welding. Mm. Underwater welding. <laughs> uh, bowling alley. But, okay. yeah. Underwater bowling is cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I think if there's not shooting there, I, I want to go shooting. There is a there. shooting range. Is there? Yeah. yeah. I the looked it up. I thought, I'll look, 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 look again. I, I know there's a spa. We can do a spa day. Get yeah. Uh, Chad to get his toenails done. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Well, he likes that yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, we could do it. There's some fucking pranks to be had. <laughs> there's definitely some pranks to and be then, had. And then there's, like, that's a three-day festival thing. I've When we talked about it before, I put links up on the, the video feed. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I know, know theirs that. goes through the weekend, yeah. and we duck out on Saturday. Well, fucking, 
So I think we're there a night early, and then they small shit kicks. Oh, we're not gonna be fucking. <laughs> they they do have a media row, so we can podcast, and I'm sure we can find some characters. Oh, okay, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, we we could definitely do some podcasting. Mm-hmm. In fact, we could we could uh, sandbag a bunch to put out the you know, bonus ones because there'll be definite characters there. Yeah, yeah. We'll do a, <laughs> we could do. All right. No, are they I, giving, I don't want to do a writer's but, meeting but, right now. But, but they are giving us a space to podcast from while we're there? Yeah. Oh, great. All the, yeah. all, anyone with a podcast. So it'll just oh. be yeah, excellent. media row. All all right. Right. We could just make up what our show is depending on the person. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, definitely, I, I'm definitely in for the pranks. All right. Uh-huh. All right. Bingo, you get fucking rocked pretty quick. I know. I can tell. Yeah, you, there's half a drink in your... I don't know. Well, you no, don't know no, what I you had, had a, before that. No, I had none before, but I, I have. This is the second one. Yeah. Yeah. You get a... You don't get a lisp. You get a... You get a what's like my... A, like a... What's the opposite of the uh, lisp? You get like a throaty, Demi Moore kind but of my, voice. Oh, maybe that, but my eyes go... Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No, that's later. Oh, when you go yeah. cross eyes. That's good. Yeah. Okay, I but... am going to watch. Have you seen? I saw just the part of the episode one. Number four. Dynamite something. Oh. Chasing lightning. Chasing lightning. I'm going to watch it. With you. Oh my god. Let's do it. Hold on. We have to wrap up, Bingo. Oh, well, I have a, to say, okay, bye bye. No. Come on. Um, MMA guy. I think we did talk about Chasing this on the lightning. Cast. What's it on and Netflix? It, uh, no, I think it's HBO. Okay. Or Showtime. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a MMA fighter, like, recent, mm-hmm. that was an up-and-coming fucking, taking the fucking thing by storm, and then pulled off the biggest fucking bank heist. Oh, we, we saw that as, as a preview, but we didn't watch it. That was, I watched it. was it. one of the things. Is so it good? good yeah. yeah, it's a five, five, four-parter. Okay. Four-parter. I saw the part one, like, I, I caught it, like, I missed the first 40 minutes, uh... You missed it. Why would why well, would you it's, it's drop like an, in at forty I, minutes? It was like an hour and fifteen. So I I watched and then I recorded mean. the rest. <laughs> but I'm like, this is fucking crazy. Is crazy. So it holds up. Down. It yeah. holds up. I don't know. I no. I mean, yeah, with the, she's watched it. Okay, so good. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had to catch up on Succession and then uh, two uh, Formula One races. So I'm. That's what I did this morning. <laughs> I, I, I got. <laughs> I gotta figure out. I was listening to fucking this book I'm into, the fucking Forty Eight Laws of Power that Chad Shank has read. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's just he's, he's you think it's gonna be like sales related, but it's really like it makes you want to be, be a fucking grifter. Like uh-huh. this is it's just it's it's. Is that what it's? Is that why they put it out, or is this well, self help? No, uh-huh. no, no. It's it's and it's 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 really entertaining. They go okay. Here, you know, don't uh, don't ever be like funnier than the boss. And then they go through like something in history where uh, did someone tried to do this and Napoleon had him fucking killed, and they have like really cool stories. Oh, wow. and, uh, specifically, yeah. but it's yeah, it's I mean, it's how to fucking lie, cheat, and steal your way to the top. But it just it, it reinforces stuff you already know, but it makes you want to be a carny. Yeah, it makes you want to go out there and be fucking. <laughs> Point being, I was, it's 23 and a half hours, I think. Okay, bye-bye now. <laughs> and so I just, like, throw it on here to Tucson. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it started skipping today. I'm like, this is an audible book. It's crazy. Were you playing it on a record player? It's my point. I'm like, I have no idea how to fix this or yeah. correct this Well, problem. sometimes that can just, from the download, so you can re-download yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. All right. All right. Okay, bingo. What? Do you want to, uh, you, She's you, checked out. I got. Yeah, I got to record. Out. All right. Hey, uh, uh, Meatwig. Uh, here. Do you want to fart? I'm coming <laughs> cat in with fart. Mine. Cat fart. The, 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 the title should just be. It doesn't matter what we talked about on this podcast. Cat hey. farted in Jaylee's face. Oh, I know.